So I got this weird phenomenon now that even on days I shave, I get this uh, this five o'clock shadow, and it's not even four o'clock. Like that's impressive. This is my life now. Welcome to my life. Why Debian? Why am I a Debian user? There's so many people out there who love that Ubuntu, who love that. I use Arch, by the way. For me, it always comes back down to uh, Debian. I've been a full-time Debian user off and on for the last few years. I always kind of come back. After I left Mandrake, which if you don't know what that is, that means you're not old like me, I went basically to Ubuntu. We're talking 2004. And then since then, it's been this Debian Ubuntu relationship going back and forth. But Debian has become my home sweet home. I'm, I'm too old to distro hop anymore. I gotta just stick with something. And speaking of old, I'm rocking Debian Stable. De Debian Stable is, like the packages are all a little bit older, but when you do your updates, you get like one or two things, maybe a kernel update but everything just stays rock fucking solid. And I love that. I love not having to worry about, is this update gonna break my kernel? Is this update gonna break the tools I use? Because there's another element here. Modern Linux has uh, app images, flat packs, which are magnificent, and um, snaps, which, you know, they're not bad. But most of my tools have become a combination of app images and flat packs for things that I need every day. And then there's programs like Firefox. Firefox just gives you a download to, to the binary. And that binary can just live in your ops folder. That's what I do. I just put it in my op folder. And then the program knows how to update itself. So it's completely independent of my actual system. It just runs in a folder. It's good to go. It's self-contained. So I got LibreOffice flat pack. That one stays up to date. I just went from hand compiling um, OBS to now using the Flatpak OBS because when I when I started doing the OBS hand compiles, it was because that was the best way. That's how you get all the tools. But now it feels like the Flatpak, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Kane Live, I go with the app image, mostly because it's consistent. I don't have to worry about updates. I have to manually update it. I know sometimes when you upgrade on Kane Live, later you're like, oh shit, I need a downgrade. And just by not removing the flat, the app images from my system, I can just point back to the old one, we're good to go again. That means stable. You can stay old as fuck just like me. I mean, you've seen my desktop. I customize it. I make it look gorgeous. I make it look modern. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And it's really, really easy to maintain when you are stable AF, old AF. That's my little rant about why Debian, hashtag glorious Debian. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.